Um, my name is Mizan the Poet. I'm going to be the last one. I wrote a poem specifically for this uh, protest. Um, when I was asked to do something about the war on terror, I really didn't know what aspect of the war on terror to write about. It's so huge. You can write about the private companies, the think tanks, the soldiers, what's going on, etc., etc. So um, I decided to write one about Baba Ahmed. We all, I think we all know what happened to Baba Ahmed. And I was, you know, I felt really bad about what happened to him and I, I wish I could do more. So this is my poem dedicated to Baba Ahmed. It's called, it's called Paradise. So I'm going to read that out. I'm, so, I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you. I'm sorry for everything that you went through. At the beginning of the tour, I know that you never thought that this war would literally kick down your door. Exposing the real world, a world where the innocent are framed is what Tony Blair probably meant when he said the rules of the game have changed. A world where the truth is in her grave and Lady Liberty is abused like a prisoner in Abu Ghraib. But I know you know what that feels like, and I hate to say it, but I find solace in the darkness of my own solitude when I'm reminded of what you've been through. And what you're going through instills a strong sense of belief in me. Strongly disagreeing with Francis Fukuyama, this isn't the end of history. The innocent won't continue to languish in prison, which is what they're putting you through for supporting terrorism, but Bush's business talks with the Taliban was never mentioned through the television or the radio, yet they still never let you go. That's the justice system not practicing what they preach whenever I think of your mother, I picture her of the tear-flooded streams when only heaven should lay beneath her feet. Yet far from being frail and weak, only men of honor are jailed for what they believe. Knowing the day will come where you walk free fills me with a strong sense of optimism. To continue fighting for the day, oppression is called out for extradition. And the innocent aren't done for terrorism. But until then, I can't imagine what it's like to be thrown offshore. Probably resulting in eyes flooded with so much tears you can't see no more. Resulting in grief-stricken pain so great you can't grieve no more. I really respect you for saying that you won't cry. You won't show the world that you're cracking up inside. No, my brother, freedom comes at a price. You've paid the price. Freedom will come to you in the form of paradise. You've paid the price. Freedom will come to you in the form of paradise. You've paid the price. Freedom will come to you in the form of paradise. God willing. Thank you.